And this little guy is going to be seen someplace very soon because I have to say goodbye. And can't keep them all. <laughs>
Or just on me? Behind you. Oh, okay. film me without you knowing. Okay. What do you have in your hand, Kevin? I have a lace monitor. Is it upset or is it scared? Well, she's, she's, so she's down here. I just took her out of the container. So this is, you know, pretty reactive, intelligent animal. She's uh, insecure, so she's not flicking her tongue right now. And uh, she's kind of making sure things are okay. And she still hasn't figured it out. Her name's Miranda. Why are you holding Miranda up like it's a retic? She's an internet star, Miranda Sings. I am those? quite aware of Miranda Sings. <laughs> her uh, diarrhea is oh. really good. Huh. Miranda <laughs> Sings diarrhea or dire. Whoop. See that? See that? Hold on. So what I just did is I got, I got a little distracted. Talking and, about Miranda Sings. Yeah, but what I did is I brought it down and put it in front of my face. And one thing these guys can be a little bit known for is a little bit of their reactiveness to kind of like running out, maybe a little bitey. So when they get scared, it's almost like a fear aggression. And some monitors will do that. Like uh, I brought down a Nile monitor. Nile monitors are famous for fear aggression. You know, they'll stay on the ground, run at you, try to bite you. So she just did this thing where um, I spooked her. I wasn't fully focusing on the animal. I just was chit-chatting about other stuff. And she basically gave me a correction. Uh, re responded to my face and she actually tried to, you know, lunge forward. I don't know if she, if she legitimately tried to bite me. It's just, she's scared. And suddenly there are her eyes, but she really wasn't, now we go. This is a big world for her. Hi. She's never been in this room before. Too, yeah, right? so she's, yeah, she's a yearling. So she was born last year, but she's never been in this room. So, hi. Oh, you got your claw right in my cup. What's crazy about their claws, Kevin? They have ridiculously sharp claws. So anybody uh, wonders, uh, things like water monitors and monitors and carusha, like monkey tail skanks and green tree monitors and black tree monitors and all that stuff, they seem like they have forever sharpening claws. And the reason for that is, do you know, Donnie? Well, they, they self-sharpen. Very good. So Donnie remembers. So the outside edge of the claw grows faster than the underside. And what that does is forever gives you a new sharp point. So when you trim your monitor's claws, and you can definitely trim your monitor's claws with a you know, cat or dog nail clippers or bird clippers. Uh, I think they're all the same. What this is showing you is how and uh, aware these animals are. And if everybody knows what I do, uh, I socialize reptiles. And I see them for what they are, not what that I want them to be. Uh, so this is indeed a lizard. It has no human-like attributes whatsoever. This is a predator. And what we're doing right now is something very unnatural. So I'm basically re-engineering how this animal thinks, the mindset of this. And I'm basically telling it through constant interactions and having good positive uh, episodes with this animal, I'm teaching it to basically tolerate and not fear humans and eventually you can get an animal like this where actually they enjoy interactions with you. It's way beyond uh, toleration where I go and see my animals and they actually want to come out and visit with me. That is they en enjoy the interaction. They're, they have really uh, great little brains and they're curious. So we have a normal lace monitor which is uh, more black and yellow patterned. So, I mean, they're, they're glorious in their own right. Uh, the problem is we have these Bell's Faves, which are just, it's like another, uh, probably say it's probably a co-dominant, naturally occurring uh, gene. So if you breed a Bell's Faves to a normal, you can make your Bell's and your, your lace together. And then when you breed Bell's to Bell's, you can uh, end up getting some of your cleaner you know, this is the theory. So this this comes down to the people that are really have a good population. These in their collections are actually breeding them, and they will have you know all this accurate information due to their living experiences. I am a uh, aficionado, so I, I I get to play with these guys, and uh, you know it's still a lot to learn. But I do liken these a lot to something uh, with the teeth of a croc monitor. Croc monitors are uh, very reactive and you have to develop that relationship and establish that level of trust so many people are getting you know into these animals and they're, they're thinking certain things and they don't necessarily have the understanding or the skill set to actually manage some of these animals and you can get one of these guys and it's glorious to look at and just because it looks great doesn't mean it's going to have 
the, the mental mechanics where it's going to be this wonderful pat you're going to walk around with on your shoulder and stuff like that, you can easily make a mistake. And I kind of just give you a little you know, quick thing. I brought it into a weird place. I was doing this. I brought it down. And all of a sudden, it just spooked it. And this animal is just, you know, it's too much to take in.